As a student, when you first start a case, you'll be given two options, learning mode or assessment mode. Learning mode will provide you with feedback as you go through the case. In assessment mode, you don't get any feedback until after you've submitted the case. Let's take a look at learning mode. So I'm going to show my clipboard. I'm going to start the case study. And we're going to take a case history. Now you'll notice there are circles beside each of the topic areas. And as I click on Hi, them, I'm Cameron's mom. Thanks for seeing us today. And begin to make selections, like tell me about your family. Cameron lives at home with, his, with me and his father, also his grandfather, his brother who is 10, and his sister is 12. When I'm in learning mode, you'll notice I get a feedback bar over here on the right. And then that little sliver of yellow that's starting to form um, is also a progress meter. So ideally, this is going to fill all the way up and turn green if I make all of the correct selections. So if I ask about case history indicating uh, uh, speech and language delays, tell me more. Cameron does have a 10-year-old brother decision. who uh, has a list. So he has a slight speech uh, delay, but other than that, no family history of any type of speech therapy or speech delays. Or what are your concerns? My major concerns for Cameron right now is that um, he's going to be going to school next year and I want him to be able to communicate well with his peers. You'll notice my progress meter is continuing to fill in. But if I make a mistake, like asking Cameron's mom a question that includes medical jargon. What is that? I'm going to lose points, and now you'll notice my feedback bar has turned red and says this question is insensitive, uses medical jargon, or is not developmentally appropriate for your client. You'll also notice my progress meter went down just a little bit. Now, if you do make a mistake, please do not stop the case and start it back over. Just keep going. It's okay to make a few mistakes as you go through here. Um, and you can still reach a 90% competency score. Now, if you are in assessment mode, those feedback bars hey, and the progress meters are Hi, turned I'm off. Hi, I'm Cameron's mom. Thanks for seeing us today. So if I ask that same question again, like tell me about your family. Uh, Cameron lives at home with, his, with me and his father. Also his you'll notice that nothing happens. So the progress meters are turned off and I do not receive any feedback over here. Um, so that is the difference between learning mode and assessment mode.